this video explains how you can pull push in VS Code. So here you can see that I have one project and I'm gonna make one change and then we will commit it, we will push the changes and we will pull the changes as well from the remote repository. So let us make one change here. I'm gonna delete this one and then save it. So as soon as I save it, you can see that in the source control it will show the changes that we have done. So you can see there is one file that has changed. And we are going to add the commit message. So whenever there is a change, you can notice that on the bottom side left corner, it is showing the branch name. So currently we are on the master branch and there is a star or asterisk right after the branch name. What it means is that on this branch, there are some changes in the working directory. Okay. So let us commit this change. Updated file. This is the commit message, and I'm gonna put a commit. Now, once you commit the changes, what happens is that you will notice that uh, the star will be removed. You can see that there is no star anymore. So when there is no star, that means that working directory is clean. And you can notice that there is a sync changes button that is appearing here, and also down here there is this arrows down arrow and up arrow near this up arrow there is one written over there that means that there is one commit that needs to be pushed into the remote repository so if you click on this button the changes or that commit will be pushed to the remote repository and then it will start showing the zero once again so if there is a, any changes that you haven't pulled it will show here but right now it is showing zero that means there are no more changes in the remote repository that you haven't pulled. What it means is that you are all the changes that are there in the remote repository are already available in your local repository as well. So you don't need to pull the changes. And there is another button this which is called as synchronize changes. So if you click on this arrows in the circular fashion, what happens is that it will pull the changes if there are any and followed by the pushing the changes in the local repository. So both these commands will be executed in sequence, pull and push in one action. But if you want to do those actions separately, that is also possible with these up and down arrows as well. So what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to click on this arrow and what will happen is that the local commit will be pushed to the remote repository. So I just did that and you can notice that the circular arrows, arrows are rotating. So that means that action is in progress and that's it. Now you can see that uh, it is showing this zero here, no problems. This means that and those upside and downside arrows are also not being shown. What it means is that everything is up to date. Okay, your local repository and remote repositories are in sync basically. That's it. If you have more questions, let me know through the comments. Thank you for watching.